Hello everyone, welcome to my car. For a fun, different video, I was tagged by Overly Average Ben to do this tag video that I know absolutely nothing about. It's the Love Island tag. I have not seen a single episode of Love Island. I know next to nothing about it. I can assume it's probably the British version of The Bachelor, Bachelorette, but I don't know if that's a correct assumption because like I said, I've never seen anything about it. But we're just gonna do it anyway because Ben tagged me and I'm not a jerk. I'm not gonna leave him hanging. So this tag is the Love Island tag. The channel KD Books created. He created this tag. So there's these seven questions that I'm supposed to answer and I tried really hard to come up with some good answers to these questions but I don't know we'll see how we'll see how you think my answers are but I think you know I did an okay job so I'm just gonna tell you my answers and you're gonna tell me whether you think I'm an idiot or not also yes I'm in a hoodie because hoodie car vibes those things together just hits different so my car is also green. You can't tell because we're on the inside of it. But my hoodie's green, so. If you didn't know, I love green. Am I a little close here? Because you're not getting my good angle, my good side. So the first question, number one, is it's Love Island, not Friend Island. So a good love story. Now what better love story is there than one told about self-love, right? So I said, The Ugly Duckling by Hans Christian Andersen. If you don't love yourself, then you're not going to be able to love anybody else. So I think The Ugly Duckling is very important to learn from. And it's a good love story about loving yourself and believing that you are beautiful no matter what. So don't forget that. Number two is, I have to go back and forth between my photos and my notes for the questions and then the answers. So bear with me. Uh, number two is Casa Amore, a book set in a beautiful location. Now this one, I've not read this book before. Ticket to Paradise by Sherry Clare. This book is set in a beautiful location because it is in a town called Santa Helena, but it is based off of the city of Santa Clarita in California. And fun fact, that's where I was born and raised. So the most beautiful location in my opinion, because I love it there. I miss it so much. I no longer live there, which makes me sad sometimes, but it is what it is. I think it is lovely. All of California, love it so much. Is it better if I'm closer or farther? I look glossy up from far away. Anyway, so yes, that's a book set in a beautiful location, in my opinion. Number three is I Got a Text, which is anticipated on upcoming release. And this one, I have a legit answer. One that I haven't mentioned yet before because I like to kind of talk about multiple anticipated releases. So in my past couple of videos, I've mentioned different books as well, but I still am anticipating those. But for this one, I wanted to say something different, and I said For All Time by Shanna Miles, and this is a reincarnation story. It sounds tragic and super interesting and beautiful, and I think this comes out in September of 2021. I love the idea of a reincarnation love story thing going on, so very much anticipating that book. Uh, number four is Should We Go For A Chat? I feel like I need to be saying the these in an English accent. Um, should we go for a chat? A book you recommended to someone and they didn't like it. This one, I would have to say Maze Runner by James Dashner. So I read the first book and loved it. And then I tried to read the second book and I didn't love it as much. So I never finished it. And I don't even think I got through the movie either because I just loved the book so much. So I tried to get my friend to read the book but I think it was after they watched the movie. So they're like, no, I ain't reading this crap. So I was like, okay, but it's so much better than the movie. They didn't care. So they just didn't like it. And that made me sad. Number five is He's My Type on Paper. A book you thought you'd love, but you didn't. This will probably have to be Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I fought so hard for this to be the Patreon book club pick for Mel Reed's Patreon for May and I was 
so much wanting to get into this book because I had never read Brandon Sanderson before. And so then this was the, fi the first one I was going to pick up and I was so excited for it. And I thought I was absolutely gonna love it. And I, I did love it in the beginning, but then it just got really repetitive and I didn't love the fight sequence scenes. They were just like way over my head. Maybe that's just cause I'm dumb, but like I wasn't tracking any of it and I didn't feel the need to track any of it. I was finding myself just like skimming through so much of those parts. <laughs> Excuse me. Skipping through so much of the dialogue or skipping through so much of the text rather when I would get to those scenes because I was just like, just tell me what happens. I don't need all this detail and technical, technological descriptions, you know? So I didn't love it, but I did like it, but I thought I was going to love it and I didn't. Number six, loyal. Apparently this is a common topic for one of the Love Island girls on there whose name is Georgia. She's apparently the most loyal girl on the show, so she's always talking about how loyal she is. So for this, it's a book you'll defend till your dying days. The Bible. Number seven, no more trees. Air quotes. No more trees. No more trees. A post-Brexit novel. I am not going to pretend that I am educated on what Brexit is for the UK. I'm so sorry, I don't know what that means, really. Um, if someone would like to educate me on that, that would be great. Um, I just know that it's some type of history in the UK. So post, I know that this means post-Brexit, meaning anything from the beginning of 2021 till now. So for this one, I just have to say People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry because I still haven't gotten to that book yet, but I'm really wanting to, and I just wanted to like mention it in this video. So that's what I'm going to say, but that one kind of felt like the possibilities of that answer were endless because there's a lot of books that have come out this year or you know, anything that I could have mentioned from this year could have gone to that answer to that question. So I said People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. There we go. I did the tag. Tagged it. Am I gonna tag anybody? I tag you. If you feel the need, this fire in you burning to do this tag video, please, by all means, do it. If you're from the UK and you wanna do this video, tag video, then you should do it. I'm tagging you, that person who wants to do it. But yes, thank you so much to Overly Average Ben for tagging me in this video. I will leave the link to his video down below so you can check out his. He's got some really great answers. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. I know it was a little different type of vibe. Let me know if you like these types of videos. I'm trying to be a little bit more loose in my videos because that's me. I'm trying to show you who I really am and my car makes me feel good. It's my safe space. So I really come alive when I'm talking to myself in my car because I do it constantly. So I like this vibe. Maybe this won't be the last time you see me doing a video in my car. Of, uh, uh, blah, blah. What am I trying to say? I'm ha I just had a stroke. And I think the acoustics in my car with the sound quality is a lot better in here too. Maybe. Hopefully. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!